Hey, Barb. What's up? I've never seen you this sad on Nugget Day. I don't care about stupid nuggets or stupid dipping sauces. But there's three flavors. Three flavors. It's just... Mr. Squall asked me to stay after school for the third time this week, and sometimes he gets a little too close. Squirrely Squall? That guy's a total perv. Wait, are you saying that Mr. Squall... I mean, are you worried he might sexually assault you? Sarah! Shh! Uh, can't we talk about dipping sauces? I know it's uncomfortable to talk about this stuff, but it's really important. My sister's a social worker, and she told me all about sexual assault. Basically, sexual assault is when someone does something sexual to another person without getting their permission first. That can include anything from touching someone's genitals, breast, or butt, inserting something into any of their body parts, or showing them something sexual when they haven't given their explicit consent. Explicit consent? Explicit consent is a clear, voluntary agreement to do something, in this case, something sexual. A shrug or silence doesn't count, and you can't give consent if you're feeling threatened, or if you're drunk or high. If you consent to one thing, it doesn't mean you consent to everything, and you can take it back at any time you change your mind. Okay, but what do I do about Mr. Squall? If he assaults you in any way, first remember that it's not your fault. No matter who you were with, how you were dressed, or what you were doing, you have nothing to feel guilty about, period. If anyone ever rapes you or hurts you in any way, get to a hospital fast. Tell them what happened, and they can help you take the steps to prevent illness or pregnancy and get you to the additional support you'll need. Most importantly, you should tell someone you trust, like your mom or a school counselor. You can tell them face-to-face, -face, over text, on the phone, or however you're most comfortable. Talking to us was a good start. Ugh, I'm freaking out. Me too. <laughs> it's normal to feel weird or scared about speaking up, especially if you know the abuser. But it's brave to talk about sexual assault or any unwanted sexual behavior that makes you feel uncomfortable. You'll be protecting yourself and other people too. Thanks, Sarah. I think I better go talk to the counselor. We're here for you, Barb, no matter what. Here, take one of my dipping sauces. Just not the Szechuan.